Good morning, folks. Little fireball seen over the UK a couple nights ago lit up Dawlish Beach in Devon as it came down offshore. Sun can't decide if it wants to get active or if the Earth facing quiet will dominate the disk. Another little pop shot out towards Jupiter yesterday, a volcano erupted, new stars are discovered, and more. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were neither silent nor tremendously active. Left side incoming, the sunspot group, you'll note a pop and expansion of the umbral magnetic fields, indicating a slight chance for release. After seeing it in 211 angstroms, we'll see the photosphere brighten as plasma distances itself, and indeed the outermost sunspot L shell broke open. Following a similarly tracking burst that came out a few hours earlier, and again, both of those would be headed out at Jupiter. After about a day of solar flare silence, it was indeed that same active region breaking into C-class range. Doesn't look like much, and the leading cores are in decay, but the middle cores will be delta if they get any growth, and the trailing portion is pretty much a delta-class sunspot right now. More flares are possible, but not likely to be too scary. Solar wind here. Calming telemetry, and in fact, the smallest of density blips the last 12 hours is likely the only thing staving off cosmic ray health advisories, with the KP ticking back up off the floor. Going now to Mount Merapi, fun place to hike unless the volcano decides to erupt while you're having breakfast. No activities allowed nearby, as safety and communication of the danger are paramount concerns there. Up next, folks, there's a new survey out on white dwarf candidates, and 53 of them have been spotted within just 25 parsecs of our star, the stellar neighborhood. This increases the known population of such stars in that range by more than 40%. Now this next article is about a professor who inserted a fake alien code into social media and then turned the world loose on it. It wasn't a hoax or a gag, but he wanted to test the power of social media and the global mind to solve a problem of deciphering a code sent by another life form. Lots of other little tidbits in there. It is a very cool little read. U.S. Today, more of the same from yesterday. Storms blanket the eastern states starting at the Gulf. Eyes on your local forecasts. Things also set to get a bit rough in the U.K. with a triple earth spot system overhead set to spin up some storms there as well. We've got the rest of the world's weather and wind maps, a null school run, and shots of our star to close. New Deeper Look episode for site members as well. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.